drinking buddies. I have here a really special flight. I've had these four samples for a while and I've kind of been saving them for this particular experiment. These are all dusties. Let's go. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> all right, drinking buddy. So I had four dusty samples and I thought it'd be really cool to put them in a blind flight. So one of them is going to be a Wild Turkey 101 from 2011. One of them is going to be an Evan Williams uh, Black Label 86 proof from 2006. One of them is going to be a Wild Turkey 101 from 2003. And one of them is a Maker's Mark 96 proof, sorry, 90 proof from 1996. Uh, I don't know if technically the 101 from 2011 qualifies as a Dusty. I don't really know if over 10 years does it, but I know the rest should, be quali should qualify for this. The rest are pretty old. I mean, that Wild Turkey 101 was put in the bottle 20 years ago. That's pretty cool. Um, the the um, uh, 17 for the uh, Evan Williams and then 1996. Let's see, that's uh, 23 and 4, uh, 27 years. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, drinking buddies, we have this blind flight of Dusties. Let's go. All I want to do is find the best one. I'm not going to try to guess. And when I say that, I normally do, but I mean it this time. I'm literally just telling you which one is the best. Like. These are not, you can't walk into a store and buy these, but there are sites online that sell this type of thing. There are places in Kentucky where they have stores dedicated to selling Dusty. So it's not something that you can't get, but it'd probably be pretty hard and pretty expensive. So I think it'd be useful to tell you, hey, maybe look for X. <sighs> well, that's most delightful. So why Dusty's? Before we, <laughs> before we jump in, like why Dusty's? Why are Dusty's something special? Well, uh, as the whiskey sits in the bottle, um, it is going to lose a little bit of its alcohol. That, that vapor is going to evaporate off over time without losing any flavor. No water is added to lower the alcohol level. Um, when you normally, to, to lower the alcohol level, you would have to add water and therefore you're going to water it down. Um, you are taking away some of the alcohol without losing any flavor. Also, there's an argument to be made that maybe they were using better ingredients a decade ago, two decades ago, three decades ago, there's an argument to be made that maybe the oak they were using was older. Uh, now they're using younger oak because uh, the trees are, you know, they've chopped down all the old trees is what I've been told. I don't know if that's exactly science, but that is that is what uh, some people say. So I don't know which one of those is true. Could be one of them, could be all of them. I lean towards it being the angel share theory where the alcohol percentage is going down a little bit without losing flavor, which is what you want. You want I mean, you, that, the reason that I like that 140 proof bourbon is because all the flavor is there. Um, if you could get that same flavor at 120, I would be just as happy, maybe even happier. This does smell really nice. All right, on a dusty flight, you knew it was coming. There's a little bit of a dusty grandma thing here. <sighs> Had to do it. Had to do it. That one was for you, Tim. But like, there's a little peanut note here, so this could be one of the turkeys, or it could be the Evan Williams. Yeah, that's like peanut shells and cherry. It's really light on proof. I think that could be the uh, I think that could be the Evan Williams. That's really tasty though. Nice bourbon vanilla, really nice medicinal cherry thing as well. I mean, honestly, it's giving me wild turkey vibes, but the proof on that is way too low to be 101. That's got to be like below 86 proof because that Evan Williams started at 86, but you know, let's see, 17 years later, it's probably not still 86. <sighs> wow. Okay, so this is much better. Much better nose. This, is, this has got all those dank notes from the first one, but there's also caramel here. Really nice um, oak presence. It's like I'm standing in a meadow. I love it. Oh, that's nice. Creme brulee all day. That is beautiful. Um, yeah, that's one of those that... Uh, 
when it, well, the first time I had one of these Dusties was one of the one the one the Wild Turkey 101s, and it blasted Wild Turkey 12 out of the water. I felt to me it was just night and day better, and I think that that just comes to the fact that maybe all of those things they say about Dusties are true. This is really good though. This is bourbon, vanilla, brown sugar, uh, cherry. Slight marshmallow thing on the finish. Little bit of a dark chocolate ride on the end too. That's really complex. I think every time I go back to that, I can pick up something new. <sighs> the noses just keep getting better. This is caramel brown sugar. It's a little bit spicy, little baking spice. A little bit of a banana bread thing. Like walnuts and bananas and baked. That is so good. That is so good. So far these two are really taking a lead above this one. This one's still really good, but these, these two are a little bit more special. Yeah, that's sweet. So sweet. Um, like actually like almost too sweet. Uh, brown sugar, caramel, vanilla, a lot of classic notes here. Maybe just dialed up a little bit more. Really light on proof as well. That's good. This one's got a little bit of a chemical-y thing, a little bit of an acetone thing on the nose. But that's quickly met with molasses. Clove heavy, very clove heavy on this one. Oak as well, like a, like wet wood, um, old books. <laughs> wow. Um, that's got a little bit of a peanut thing on the finish. Um, a lot of nice cherry notes here. Not necessarily like a candy cherry, more of a medicinal cherry, but not in a bad way. Um, uh, once again, caramels and vanillas for sure. Uh, nice oak presence that's not overtaking it. Um, those three are special. I'm gonna have to go through these again to figure out which one's my favorite, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, drinking buddies, we have a ranking here. Um, I feel like this one is standing out as being the best. It's, it's I feel like somewhat dramatically better than the others. This one's the weakest link. I know I said I wouldn't do any guessing and this isn't guessing. I'm like 99% positive that this is the Evan Williams. So Evan Williams, good, not as good as the rest. Let's find out if I'm right about this. Yeah, Evan Williams, 2006. Third place over here is this one. The only reason I'm knocking this one is a little bit that just that, that, that uh, kind of chemical-y flavor lends to more of a medicinal cherry than a candy cherry that I'm getting off of both of these. I am getting cherry on all three of these, but this one's more, a little bit more chemically. This is the 101 from 2011. Okay, so we're getting older here. <laughs> these are the two really old ones. Um, so I, yeah, I'm not gonna guess, like I said. Next up, three, okay, so this is the 2003 Wild Turkey 101, 20 years old, and the favorite by a pretty good margin was the Maker's Mark from 1996. So, good news, drinking buddies. Um, if you wanted to find something like that, I believe it would be cheaper than finding something like this. Uh, these guys, the Wild Turkey 101s, people know how good those Dusties are, so people hunt them. You might be able to find that Maker's a little easier, because I don't think people know how good they are. Well, drinking buddies, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, we will see you on the next one. Thanks. Cheers. I'm your drinking buddy.